Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes! Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That wasn't worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? I would love to, Dutch, but I got some other business to attend to. Oh, you do, do you? You know you'll never outrun me and the Count. Anyway, I'll see you later then. Stay out of trouble. Get out of my shot! Uh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Hold still. Never again. Oh, I owe you so much, mister. I can't believe you saved my life twice. Me neither. Well... I best be getting back to town. Uh, gonna eat a uh, uh, stiff one tonight. <sighs> That's it. You ain't getting another out. I gotta think you're asking for it at this point. Not sure I see the fun inside. I'm glad I found you. I am colder than blue belly hell out here. Could I warm up by your fire just a bit? All right. I guess you can sit a while. Oh, I sure do appreciate this. You won't even know I'm here. Oh, God. Got myself rightly turned around out here. Yeah, uh, the two days or or more. 
Oh, Cherry Ann guzzled up all the chitterlings, so I go out hunting squirrels. Only Esther still got my damn warm britches. And I got poor circulation, even at the best of times. So, oh, November, my feet, they always turn brown. <laughs> so I glug some shine to keep myself warm. <laughs> On a riverbank, shivering like a shitting dog. <laughs> I get lost real easy. You ever heard of a place called Butcher Creek, mister? Our entire village has been marked by the demon stealing our bodies and our minds. And we have all been cursed, and ain't nothing we can do but just wait our time. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Now, I don't know if I like you, mister. You got the same look my uncle has. I'll take my chances. You stay away from me! Stop trying to get some rest. What do you want from me? Huh? I need your money, tough guy. Don't try nothing dumb. You best hightail it on out of here. Slide the load here, boy. Gotta help me. I need medicine. What the medicine. hell is wrong with you? You sound like death. Hey, drink up. Are you just gonna watch me die? Oh, oh, oh thank you. Reckon I was done for there. Oh, oh. oh. I had a bite of that plan over there, and it hit my guts like a freight train. Oh, oh.
It's that little one over there with the pink flowers. I'd stay well clear of that if I was you. Yeah, I think you've sold me on that plan. Tell me about it. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Do you know what I asked for Christmas this year? I wonder why Gavin left you. Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? Nope, but I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Oh, maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He he'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Look at you, Williamson. You're as lazy as a toad and twice as ugly. Yeah? Well, why are you wearing that stupid badge? Have you got molasses in your britches or something? What's wrong with you? i never known a feller so useless. I won't tell you again! Who left this idiot here? Damn moron! Ah, it stinks a coward oh, right around here. You got such Not a so chip good. on your shoulder, don't oh, you? Well. Drop the tough act. It's getting embarrassing. What's wrong with you? I don't think I've ever been less intimidated. Think you're such a big man. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? 
I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so. <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way, bunch of smart Alex. How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all in five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey! You don't want in on this, Williamson, that's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passed through the crossroads up ahead. Wind. Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something? Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Sons of bitches! Y'all made a big mistake! 
Out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey. Shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! I need to let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> The place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. The place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Ah! Ah! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas! You should have been smart! Behind you, Charles! We got more of the bastards on this side! Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got enough to security. Why are they all shooting at me? Watch out! Move, Bill! Uh, Nicely done, Bill. They teach you that move in the army, too? Can't you keep your... Beat still for ten goddamn seconds. You got us into this. 
Sounds like they got some trouble over there. We better go get them a hand.
else still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. Uh, we got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an down. honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Hello. Hey, brother. Good to see you again, friend. I've only gone and forgotten your name. But worse than that, I've forgotten my own name, too. It happens to me. Do you ever forget your name, mister? No. So it's just me. They said I was strange back in the army. And, and that's why they kicked me out. I was the only fella got kicked out during a siege. While being sieged. That weren't no fun. Wind homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Hmm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt are more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. No, please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. Come on, girl. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive! Okay, follow me. Drive! I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. Hey, how about this then? I guarantee repayment. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If I gotta squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower.
Up here. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. This is it. Her den. We should leave the horses. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah. What you doing? You're meant to be going the other way. Quite right. Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, 
I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well... The morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't, don't want be no shy. Fun. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie? Your auntie's... Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Down here, move along. I was on my way anyway, thank you very much. No one got manners no more, not even church folk. It's all clear. All right, now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. Churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you back to ah! Got some nerve on you.
here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. Looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. <laughs> hey, Arthur, what are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor i ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me i couldn't see your name on it oh relax i ain't here to rob you <laughs> oh it seems that's easy enough <laughs> why not do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And... Listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. 
In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage.